My name is Phil, I'm with Mitel, and what we're going to show you today is our virtual appliance, our MCDV app, running in a virtual environment, and we're actually going to move that, vMotion it, from one server within your data center to another. What we're simulating here is a regularly planned, scheduled maintenance window, and we were not going to have any effect on the users, nor the management of the system. So one of the other things that we're going to show is the system administrator adding a new user to the system. We're going to begin the addition of that user while running on the first server, then we're going to vMotion our application to the second server, and we're going to continue that add. One of the other things that we're going to show is call control. What we're going to do is we're going to establish a call. I'm going to answer that call and I'm going to place it on hold. Reason being is that what happens is now we're, we are actually using resources from this first server and we're now going to vMotion it to the second server without any inter interruption to the user nor the sound quality. So what we do is we go in and I'm going to migrate this virtual machine. I'm going to select the backup server that we're actually going to vMotion it to. And what we're going to see is we are now seeing the progress bar of it actually moving that application over to the backup server. The call continues during the transition. And it's completed. So now what we can see is we see our virtual appliance, our MCD, now running on the backup server. The other item that we wanted to point out was from a management perspective, the administrator was in the process of creating a new user and the VMCD was running on the first server. What we've done is we've moved it over to the second server. Now the administrator can continue adding that user to the system with no interruption whatsoever. So what we've shown here is our MCDV app running in vSphere 4 on VMware uh, and a scheduled maintenance within, within your data center.